Hi everybody, I wanted to work question 14 from work session 17. So this question states to find the equilibrium constant for the reaction using any KSP and KF literature data necessary uh, for the equation below. And so this data can be found at the back of your textbook. And when you're thinking of KSP, you're going to be looking for those insoluble solids. Um, so in this case, it looks like we'll write down that reaction for lead to chloride. Um, and when you think of KF, we learn that when we discuss complex ion formation. So looking at this reaction here, you're probably going to want to look up um, the KF value for this complex ion in this equation. Um, if this was provided on an assessment um, or you were asked this question, I'd have to provide that data for you. Um, but if you're working your homework problems and these work session problems, then definitely be looking in the back of your textbook. And so we'll just start there. No, we'll need some KSP. I'm going to write down the KSP equation for lead to chloride. So insoluble, we learned that in first semester of general chemistry, um, lead to chloride is not very soluble in water, but if it did dissociate to a small extent, it would dissociate into lead to cations plus chloride anions, but don't forget to balance that equation. We'll need two of those. And if you look this value up in the back of your textbook, you would get 1.17 times 10 to the negative fifth. Um, so that's the KSP. And then also wanted to look up the formation of the complex ion um, from its ions lead to and hydroxide. And the KF value here is 8 times 10 to the 13th. And so we want to see if these two equations add up to give us the overall equation in which we want to find the equilibrium constant for. And so remember to cancel out like species on different sides of the arrow. So um, for example here, lead 2 would cancel out um, between the two when we add them up. And that is all. We have, so then we're left with the lead 2 chloride plus the three hydroxides to give us the complex ion plus the chlorides. And does that check out with the equation we're looking for? Yes, it does. So when we add up two individual reactions, what do we need to do to their equilibrium constants to find the equilibrium constant for the new equation? Okay, hopefully you said you need to multiply them. So K overall, and that's something we would have learned if you're taking my class. Um, currently we learned that in chapter 15. So K overall will be KSP times KF. And so you would multiply these values together and you should get nine times 10 to the eighth. And what does this tell us? Well, this tells us that if we were to add base to lead to chloride, it would make it soluble. It would favor the products because it has such a large equilibrium constant. Um, as opposed, if we were just to put the lead chloride, lead to chloride, and leave it in water, we can see that it's not very soluble. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.